uh, in the name of Almighty Allah my name is Sahak from Sahak Graphics uh, in today's lesson uh, we will create this cool uh, Greenwood logo in Adobe Illustrator and uh, in the next part uh, we will take this uh, uh, logo uh, to the 3d program cinema 4d and we will create the, the 3d version of this logo uh, as you see uh, here in cinema 4d uh, so we will create this cool uh, 3d version of this logo in second part uh, of this tutorial uh, so uh, basically this tutorial will be divided into two parts so let's jump to the uh, illustrator and I uh, will create the first part as a simple logo of this uh, cool logo so I created this new document uh, we'll, we will create one uh, ellipse tool uh, the color will be none and the stroke will be one pixel with a black color so I will just create uh, an ellipse uh, so uh, uh, we will duplicate this uh, ellipse by clicking uh, by pressing alt uh, and we will drag directly to the bottom and you will also press the shift with this to align it uh, perfectly and now we will create the same one more copy you will just uh, touch this part and finally one more copy to touch here yes so basically we created these four uh, ellipse tools and now we will jump and we will take shape builder tool uh, we will choose a color uh, I'm choosing green in this case and we will just uh, <coughs> sorry uh, we will just create here uh, we will join these parts now we got a beautiful shape that we need and uh, we will press the alt uh, and we will delete this area uh, as we uh, press the alt see this uh, this is a minus uh, minus point, minus sign here in the altar and now we will delete uh, the part that we don't need and now we will uh, finish the stroke zero the stroke uh, for this one uh, so here we will uh, we will zero the stroke and uh, just we will uh, rotate this one uh, like this and we will uh, click uh, right click arrange sorry uh, transfer and just we will reflect uh, like this okay uh, so basically we got our shape uh, we will just zoom in uh, now we will grab the pen tool uh, and we will just uh, uh, sorry we will click here you will not select this shape and now you will take the uh, pen tool I uh, will just finish the color to none and you will give them uh, one pixel stroke like this uh, and you will just uh, uh, click uh, here somewhere and another click here and you will make a cool uh, curve here like this and now we will uh, alt click here to break this point uh, break this uh, curve point and we will just uh, click here and make a beautiful uh, curves here now we will grab this uh, direct selection tool and we will adjust our shape here you will just adjust it like this okay uh, so we can adjust this part also here like this okay so now we will go to um, direct selection tool we will select this uh, uh, stroke and now we will uh, just uh, make it thicker like this and just we will come to here uniform and just we will uh, select this shape like this now we will do some adjustment here we will move this point little bit up like this and this point also uh, we will move it 
like here and just make more curve just like this uh, then uh, we will uh, just right click on this we are happy with the result uh, we will right click uh, sorry we will click this one and we will go to object and uh, just uh, expand appearance now we have two different shapes you will click both shapes and we will uh, just go to here uh, uh, path, uh, pathfinder tool and we will minus the bottom shape so now we got this beautiful shape here uh, we will just play here to make this one a uh, little bit more curvy uh, we will we will grab this smooth tool and we will just play here to make this one cool okay uh, so now this, uh, now my friends uh, we will uh, just duplicate this shape and we will take the rotate tool we will bring the uh, metal point just to here and you will just by pressing uh, alt we can make a copy of this like this and now uh, we will click this shape and just we will uh, mirror it reflect just like this we have reflected already and now we will sign uh, we will size down something like this and just we will delete the first okay uh, so now we will just align this one uh, we will take uh, rotate tool again Uh, as we see in the example so we will join these two parts uh, to uh, represent as a W here You will just uh, zoom in this part uh, to see if this is uh, perfectly aligned or not okay and uh, we will take this uh, rotate tool bring the uh, center point here and you will rotate like this Now this is perfectly aligned. Yeah, and, and this is uh, representing uh, representing uh, the letter uh, W. Now you will click both shape, uh, and you will just uh, merge them together. Now we have only one shape, uh, and now. It's time to create the circle. Uh, we will go to uh, this uh, ellipse tool and we will just create an ellipse around this shape. Something like this. And now you will make the color none and the stroke. Uh, stroke, we will uh, give some thick stroke. 
okay something like this uh, and now we just align this part here maybe we can decrease something like this and you will just uh, uh, take the color sorry we will take this uh, stroke color same as uh, the color we, we have used here uh, and now we will make uh, group by pressing ctrl and g group and we will just align it to the center of uh, our composition and now you will rotate it uh, something like this yes like this for the circle we will uh, see yeah we will just uh, size down the circle by ungrouping them Uh, so basically uh, our uh, logo shape is ready uh, we will make it uh, we will uh, merge uh, so first of all you will make this uh, uh, stroke expand uh, fill in stroke yes so now you will take all and merge them together so all we have one shape uh, and we will apply uh, this beautiful uh, gradients color from here uh, we can apply this gradient uh, here we will take uh, this bright uh, this dark green or this dark green and here you will take some light green like this uh, just you will mic this one okay and now you will take the gradient tool from here you will just upside. yeah uh, so now we have this beautiful uh, simple uh, logo with the green leaves on it so here we will write our text now clean world you will make the size to something and we will change the font to um, century gothic bold and this one we will take to regular Okay, and you will just align in the bottom 
perfectly yes uh, and now we will take the this tool and we'll take this color uh, we will uh, just take the text and uh, text and expand text fill in stroke so now we can take these and group them these letters we will take the color to something or we will choose it from here And you will select these letters yeah so so dear friends uh, we, we are finished with the illustrator uh, in the next tutorial uh, we will just uh, grab this logo and to the uh, cinema 4d and you will create this beautiful uh, 3d version of this logo Hope you learned this tutorial, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Uh, and don't forget to uh, give a thumbs up and leave a comment. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.